Hello, Daniel Bloodworth, coming to you, recording late at night, so I'm not going to be super loud on this one. Trying something different? I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I've been recording clips uh, for the review, extra stuff on the side for Brad, weird little things that may be useful, maybe not. Just supplemental footage, letting him deal with all the main quests and all of that. Um, and we did our impressions, and... Uh, I kind of wanted to do sort of like a daily journal diary sort of thing. It's probably not going to be quite daily. Uh, let me set some expectations. Um, this is not going to be um, uh, going on through my full playthrough. Uh, I probably, I may not finish this game for months and months from now. Uh, it, it'll go while I'm kind of into it for right now. I do have some other reviews games to get to <laughs> as well. Uh, we're just going to try it out. I'm recording like three of these little things today, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, but just some of the, and then some of the stories I'm not going to have footage for because I'm not recording like wall to wall footage, just recording little moments. Um, but some of these moments I do have footage of, and I want to share them, and I want to kind of go through a little bit, a couple of days at a time, uh, per, per little diary episode here thing. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to look, be looking down at my notes a lot too. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, so the first one is going to cover a lot of some of the the, the early things uh, that we talked about in the impressions video and um, as well as um, some things that we really we didn't quite get to there um, but uh, yeah so like just you know getting getting into it getting into ultra hand uh, for the first time yeah that thing just maybe will be the bent of it at, at, at first it's just like yeah those those experiences those moments of discovery or whatever right uh, getting in that ultra hand shrine um, and, uh, figuring that stuff out and, uh, and just like starting to pick together that idea of, um, of just experimenting and finding multiple ways to do things. So it's like, you see the thing with the hook and then I made the thing with the hook and then I'm like, okay, I, let me, cause I saw the thing going above the ceiling and I also kind of had this thing in my head with the shrines where... Um, I know there's always a treasure chest. There's like, there's the goal, and then there's the extra treasure chest. I'm like, I didn't see the treasure chest. So let me go look for a treasure chest. And so like, I walked back across the thing, and then I, I found the treasure chest, and I like, put a couple of platforms, to, an extra platform together, and I went up and I grabbed the chest. And then I'm like, let me take this thing over to where the example hook is, and let me get up there. And I just made a ridiculous bridge up there. And it was, you know, it was a road to nowhere. You don't need it. <laughs> it's it's just there to show you that that exists, um, and then uh, and then I use the bridge, my crazy long bridge, again a third time, uh, to uh, to get to the goal. So it's like three ways at least. You know, there's pl more ways than that, obviously, but like to to get across that gap, which is fun, F fun lesson. And then once I had learned fuse, I had remembered or not fuse, but ultra hand. I'd remember there was a spot earlier that I'd walked by uh, where, you know there's just a gap that you couldn't cross and you don't have the glider yet. Um, so, you know, went over there and cut some logs and made my little bridge there and, and got across and got, had cut my first set of capsules. So I'm like, what the heck are these things? I do want to show it just, I do want to show that clip one more time with a spinning raft. It is hilarious. It was in the impressions video. I put some boxes and barrels together, put a fan on it, thought I could, you know, just use that as a raft instead of the logs. I wanted to do it differently than the way you're supposed to. And the thing just spun around in the water. I'm gonna try it again sometime. See if it works with like a more lengthwise lengthy platform. We'll see. It probably does, but it's great. The recipe menu. Love that the recipe menu is in there. That's awesome. Love it. Let's do that. Um, just seeing the list, the other ways that you can make it or attract to. Um, super good, super good addition there. Just a nice quality of life bit, uh, and it looks really nice too. Uh, the minecarts, very cool to experiment with those. Start off with uh, the capsule machines. I Because we saw those in the trailer. I was like, what the heck is this thing? And then like, yeah, that was the first place. I saw the, the flame emitter and getting those portable pots. It was a while until I realized how they actually worked because I was like, okay, well, only it's like I, I got some things and then it was like, okay, well, it, it kind of just gave me the same things. And now I, I've learned that like, oh, okay, each individual capsule machine only has three or four different types of items um, that you get out of them. So, but it's a cool, it's a fun little way to get new things. And you're like, what is this thing? 
what is this thing called that I've used in other places that I've just picked up and I don't know what it is. Um, so that's fun. Um, I won't have to talk about the other minecart stuff too much. Making my own tree though, I love this because there's a lot of reasons I love it. Because first, so there's this place in the snow in the opening area near the last shrine or third shrine or whatever you want to call it. You know, there's a shrine nearby. The Ascend Shrine is nearby. But before I got to the Ascend Shrine, when I was climbing that hill, I saw that, you know, there's this outcrop or whatever to get up to, and there was a tree next to it, and I and I tried to climb the tree and get up to it, and it was just short. And so I was like, well, I'll make, I'll make my own tree. And I, like, stuck three logs together and, and awkwardly put it up there, and I climbed up there, and I felt real good about myself. And then uh, after I got Ascend, I saw it as like, oh, you're supposed, okay, they have that little thing sticking out. You're supposed to use Ascend. But then Damiani's tree, he goes over there. And he he just climbs the tree and jumps at the just perfect angle to get onto that ledge. And I'm just like, okay, I didn't think you could do that. I didn't even think you could get up there before you had any powers. So that was great. He gone completely in reverse, refuses to cook anything. He might cook one thing at a time. It's hilarious to me the way Damiani was playing that game. I haven't watched since because now he's in other areas that I haven't been to yet, but that was funny. Oh, and then he finds that there's just a place, there's just a path that you could climb up. No drama whatsoever, just basics. <laughs> Good job, Damiani. Um, uh, but then, uh, we put this in the impressions video too, I made another tree, uh, tried to do it again, and uh, I did not account for gravity and it fell on me and killed me but then i made a more more stable version of it with like two legs it looks kind of horse-like it's sort of a mess but i made that and i got up there <laughs> oh, the, the ledge the ledge just got the three arrow snipers uh the ice arrows um i should yeah maybe mention that this is going to be all spoilery oh the blood moon the new blood moon cutscene really sick love that um the tower sequence I love it. Blasting out of that tower with the iPad. Super, super cool. I love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, we talked about the... Uh, just the first time, like, killing the skeletons and, like, fusing those weapons together and just, like, having that, like, bone handle with, like, a horn on the end. Super cool. Um, and then jumping into the depths. For the first time, for the first time. We'll get more into the depths in a future episode, but... Um, getting down there and just being completely unaware of what's going on and following that quest line um and then like when i got that when i got to robbie or whatever and they went back and i'm like okay i'm out, I'm out of here i'm gonna leave for now because this seems daunting um but i really like the idea that the shrines are connected to this like root system that lights them up but we will get more into that later metal buds Found those down there as well. It was really cool using those um, to. Uh, I always. I mean, I don't know. I, I just always love that. I always love confusing enemies and having them attack each other. Um, and then let's see, the nails. The nails are crazy to me. So I found the spot that had these. So there's a chest, and then there's like a platform, and then there are a couple of nails to stick in. And I've also done the pinball puzzle with nails. I think those are the only places that I've seen these nail things. Um, so that's really interesting. There's a lot of like little devices out there that are pretty cool and pretty crazy. But yeah. Um, and then, oh, along with the nails. Um, uh, but yeah, just basically like stuck a nail in the wall and it's attached a platform to it. And then I was able to get the chest. Um, and then there was a Korok uh, near that area that uh, all the parts were there for me to build a car, except for the steering. So it's been a while, it took a while before I actually found any like steering contraptions and I still don't have any capsules that I can get those on demand. But anyways, that's where we'll end this because we don't want these things to go on forever. Um, having a good time, messing around. I'm messing around with this video. This one's a little weird because I'm talking about stuff that I've already talked about, but look for the next one coming up. I don't know how long these are gonna go and you know, they might be sporadic, but we'll put them out as we put them out and you know, they'll be fun. Highlights of my adventures, whatever. Thank you very much. If you like this, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check us out on Patreon, we need that. Um, and uh, if you like what we do, uh, it takes people that like what we do. 
to pay for what we do. Uh, so check that out and uh, consider becoming a monthly patron. And of course, check out our podcast, check out our impressions, check out Damiani streams, all the good stuff. Thank you. And I will see you very soon. <laughs>